Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we are sharing with you our personal top 15 favorite recipes from the last seven years of making the show. So we are celebrating seven years of making the show. Can you believe that? Seven years. Wow, that's a lot of recipes. We thought it would be fun to share with you our top 15 favorite recipes that we make on a regular basis in our kitchen. And boy, was that hard to choose from. We have so many great recipes and coming up with only 15. We were gonna do a top 10, but we couldn't do it. So we went to 15. But first, before we jump into that list, I wanna give a great big thank you to all of our supporting members because it's only because of you that our show is possible. So thank you so much, we are so grateful. Just a reminder that all of our recipes are available on our website, plantbasedcookingshow.com. So be sure to check it out if you're looking for a great recipe. So here is our top 15 list, starting with number 15, Irish soda bread. One of my personal favorites, I absolutely love bread. And this is a really rustic, very simple, quick to make, easy recipe and it is so delicious, you will just love it. Number 14, number 14 is the noodle bowl, which happens to be my husband's favorite recipe. This one has an interesting, interesting story. Uh, we used to go to this little restaurant that's out in the country out here in North Carolina, and we fell in love with this noodle bowl, which is so delicious, and we kept going back over and over and over again, and we made friends with the chef. And we asked him, we told him about the show and asked him if we could make a version of it for our show. And he obliged. He sat down with us and wrote out the recipe. And I kind of altered it just a little bit, uh, just because some of the ingredients weren't as available, so that I could make it easier for all of you to make this recipe. And I think we came up with a amazing version of his recipe. So thank you out there for letting us use your recipe to make another recipe. Number 13 are waffles. Who doesn't love waffles? I know at our house, we love a good waffle. And I love to make an extra big batch of them. They're super quick, super easy, and they're, they're great to store in the fridge or in the freezer. And you can just, you know, break one off, pop it in the toaster in the morning. It's super quick and easy. Sometimes I even use it as uh, for sandwiches. I use that for the sandwich bread. They make a great sandwich. Number 12 are vegetable enchiladas. I absolutely love Mexican food, especially enchiladas. And the reason why is all of that sauce. You get to have so much sauce all over those wonderful burritos. And these are just chocked full of vegetables, super hearty. It goes great in, in the refrigerator. You can warm it up the next day or for a couple days. They're so delicious. Number 12 is tiramisu. I absolutely love baking, but if you've watched the show, you know that my cakes and my baked goods are a little bit rustic. They're not super fancy. I'm not into fancy decorations or anything like that. So tiramisu was a bit of a challenge because it's kind of a fancier special dessert, right? Well, I think I did it, and this recipe is amazing. So if you're wanting to have more of a special dinner, this is a great recipe if you want it to be a little bit more fancy. By giving you this list, I really hope that it can be an inspiration for you, especially if you're just starting out on your own plant-based journey, or if you know it's January, so it's time for those New Year's resolutions, right? So if this can help you eat better this year, Great, we really hope that these will help you make your plant-based journey even easier. Number 10 is Masaman curry. Now my, my husband and my daughters have this really, their favorite uh, Thai food restaurant that we go to. And the one dish that I really fell in love with there was the Masaman curry. So as I'm eating that, I just kept enjoying it and thinking, you know what? I know that I can come up with a version of this and make it even healthier. And I absolutely love the recipe that we came up with. And we have this on a regular basis here in our kitchen. Number nine is Zuppa Toscana. So that may not be familiar to many of you out there unless you're an Olive Garden lover. So this is one of their classic soups. 
and it is creamy and delicious. Oh, I just absolutely love this soup, but I believe it is a dairy-based soup. So here we are again. We knew that we needed to come up with a recipe on our own so that you all could enjoy this amazing soup. And I really hope you try this one, especially now that it's cold outside. It is so warm and comforting and delicious. You will love it. Number eight is mushroom stroganoff. Do I need to say more? Oh, creamy, delicious pasta. Mm. Now this one took me a while. I've had this on my idea wall for probably at least a couple of years and I've tried it several different times and the first couple times it was absolutely not edible. And even my husband that will struggle through just about any meal, he would not even eat it. So it took me many tries and this final version is absolutely perfect and I've heard from many of you viewers out there even if you're not vegan or plant-based that are absolutely in love with this recipe so be sure to try this one out. So this is just a list of our favorites but we would love to hear your favorites so leave a comment below on your favorite recipe from the show. Number seven are blondies. Yum! This is one that we probably make almost every week because they're so good it's a good you know, one to have in your, your repertoire. It's super quick and easy to make and super satisfying, especially if you have a bit of a chocolate sweet tooth. Number six are our barbecue chicken wraps. Now this one, my husband Jeffrey came up with because he's a huge barbecue fan. So he thought, what better to combine together with, uh, for barbecue with our coleslaw and put it in a wrap. And at first I thought, wow, that sounds really kind of bizarre. But we made it, we made our own barbecue sauce and used some uh, soy curls to make barbecue chicken and then put some of our coleslaw in there into a wrap and they make this amazing filling sandwich. It is so delicious. I absolutely love it. He loves it. So be sure to give it a try. Number five. Now number five, that's getting close to number one. So it must be really good. And our hummus is amazing. We eat this hummus with everything. We use it as like a spread on sandwiches. We eat it to dip uh, vegetables or chips in. It is so amazing. This is one thing that we almost always have in our refrigerator just so that we can have it on everything. It's that good. Number four is our Reese's peanut butter cup nice cream. Now, when we first started this journey, we really wanted to have an amazing chocolatey dessert because we are all chocoholics in this house. And we came up with this nice cream recipe. And I'm not kidding you, probably for the first almost three years that we were plant-based, we had this ice cream almost every single night before we got sick of it. It is so good. And I love peanut butter and chocolate together. So it's just the perfect, uh, satisfying dessert. Number three is our nacho cheese sauce. This is one of the recipes that we came up with pretty early on in the show and it has been a staple in our kitchen this entire time. We pour it over all kinds of stuff, you know, cooked vegetables, over our enchiladas, if we're having uh, fajitas, we use it as a dip. It is so delicious and it's super easy and it stores really well in the fridge so you can always have it on hand. Number two is our Hostess Cupcakes. This one has kind of a funny story. Uh, I was trying to make or create a Swiss roll, you know, the cake that rolls up with the cream in the center. And I just wasn't having any luck. I would start to roll it and the pieces of cake were just breaking. It was just a little too dry. So I ended up just taking those sections out, putting it on a plate, lathering some of the frosting, putting another piece of it and lathering some more frosting. And we lovingly called this the dump cake. But my, as my husband was tasting it and especially the top chocolate frosting, he said, you know what this tastes like is Hostess cupcakes. You know, the cupcakes with the little white curly swirl on the top. And the more we ate it, we realized, wow, this really does taste like that. So that's how we came up with the idea to make the Hostess cupcakes. But 
the way we eat it here, we eat it as the dump cake. It's just way easier. <laughs> Number one is our West African peanut sauce. This is one of our all-time favorite meals in our kitchen. We actually have a pot of this in the refrigerator as we speak. And this recipe actually predates the show quite a few years. And I learned it from a friend of ours from Gambia, Africa, way before we started the show. And then once the show started, we knew we had to share it with you. So we made a delicious plant-based version, which you will all fall in love with just like we have. So I hope you will try some of these recipes. Most of them are from our first cookbook. And if they're not in this cookbook, they're gonna be in our second cookbook project that we've got going, which we'll give you a link in the description below so you can follow along and watch that journey. Happy holidays, and I hope you guys have all enjoyed the show.